So, did this falling out have anything to do with your dropping out of school? Boy, we just jumped into this, didn't we? You want to talk about something else first? No. I mean, we're here to talk about you leaving school, so I figured let's just start there. What happened? Uh, nothing. Uh, we fought. I'm fine. We're fine. I hear you had some legal problems. My, those are some big ears you have there, Grandma. Stealing a boat is a pretty big deal. I was upset. About what? About life and things and stuff. You spent a night in jail? Yes, I, I did. How did that feel? Great. You don't want to talk about this either? I'm just, I'm sick of talking about it, that's all. You seem very agitated. I'm not agitated, I... So I spent a night in jail, big deal. So did Martin Luther King. Are you comparing yourself with Martin Luther King? No, I'm not, I just, I'm saying that he spent a night in jail too. You were arrested with your boyfriend? Yes, I was. Tell me about that. About what? He was my boyfriend then and now he's not. He's not? No, he's not. We broke up. No, oh no, I'm sorry. He broke up. I thought that we were just taking some time, but apparently I'm a moron. Uh, this is Logan? What, you have his name too? Super, do you also have the picture of him hijacking me in my hallway earlier today? I'm sorry, what? I mean, how fair is that? He's gone, and then he shows up out of the blue. You can't live here, this place is a dump. And by the way, I love you. I love you? Is he serious? I don't know. Nothing, for weeks. And then he just decides that he loves me? So what happens now? I get another Birkin bag? And how long until he doesn't love me again, huh? <laughs> I stole a boat with him. I never stole a boat with Dean. Who's Dean? My married ex-boyfriend who I lost my virginity to. Wow. Yeah, I'm a treat. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I, I don't think I can take running into him every day in the halls and in the paper and the coffee cart. Oh my God, I'm gonna have to quit drinking coffee. And I love coffee. Oh. No. I really love coffee. Hello. Guess who's crazy? Who? Me. You? Since when? Since I went off Francis Farmer in my psychologist's evaluation today. All right, I'm on the bed and comfortable. Should I get popcorn or is it a shorter story than that? I went home from class to get ready for the appointment and Logan was there. At your apartment? In the hallway. And of course, I couldn't get my door open fast enough, so he started talking. What did he say? He said he loved me. No way. And it completely threw me. And I got out of there as fast as I could, but then I got to Dr. Shapiro's office, and he started peppering me with all these questions, and I just got more and more upset. Then I exploded all over the place. I went through two boxes of Kleenex. I started hyperventilating, and I had to breathe into a paper bag. Do you believe him? Believe who? Logan, you believe he loves you? I don't know. I guess I can figure that out next week in therapy. What? After my little meltdown, Dr. Shapiro thinks I should come see him once a week for the next two months. You're kidding. There are no jokes in the mental health field, only hand puppets, ink blots, and inflatable anger bats. I'm so sorry, you're a nut. That's okay, I'm sure Dr. Shapiro has a nice padded room for me. Well, don't let them put you on any of those pills. Tom Cruise will be very upset. All right, I should go. I have a massive amount of reading to do. I just wanted to call and say hi. Okay, remember, blame it all on Grandma. Will do. Bye. Bye.